Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Today is Kids Day. During the season of Advent, we are inviting our families in our church to work with a devotional guide that's using the tradition of the Jesse tree. The Jesse tree is a way of telling the whole story of God's saving work as we find it in the Bible. We sometimes refer to it as Jesus' family tree. And in this family tree, there are some real heroes of faith, people who stood up for God when others were turning their back on God and being disobedient. One of the great heroes of faith was the prophet Elijah. He lived in a time when there were some people in Israel who worshiped the, the god Baal. And Elijah challenged the, the prophets of Baal to a contest. And there was an altar with wood that was placed upon it and it was doused with water. And then the, the prophets of Baal made loud prayers to bring fire down upon the, the wood, but it did not light. But when Elijah said a very simple prayer, a fire came and, and destroyed all the things that were, were there on the altar. It was a great act of power. And then another of the heroes or faith was Daniel. Daniel lived in a time and in a place where, where he was held captive and the, the people of that foreign land tried to stop him from observing the prayers and the and the practices, the rituals that he had been taught by his faith. And he and some of his friends were, were punished as a result. Some of his friends were put into a fiery furnace, but God protected them and saved them. And of course, we love that story about Daniel in the lion's den and being saved. We want to remember that God is still at work to do great things in our lives. And we are to show that we are trusting God for everything that we need as we study his word in the Bible and also as we share in our prayers. Our prayers are a way of saying we trust God to take care of us. So let's now join together in praying with our fingers. We start by praying for those nearest to us. We pray for our families. We pray for our moms and dads, brothers and sisters, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles and cousins. We ask God to protect all those whom we love. We pray for our friends. We pray for our friends who are away from us and maybe we're seeing them on, on Zoom and some other, other ways in which we can connect, but we know it's hard to be separated so we pray that God will look after our friends. We pray for our community helpers. We pray for teachers, for doctors and nurses, for police officers and firefighters. We pray that God will work through them to look after those who are in need and to keep us all safe. We pray for our leaders. We pray for leaders in our community, in our state, in our nation. We pray for leaders around the world. We pray that leaders will do what is right and good, that they will look after the people that they are responsible for. We pray for those who are sick. We pray especially for those who are sick with COVID-19. We pray that God will help them get better. We pray for those who are lonely, for those who are sad, we ask that God will, will make God's love known to them so that they will feel his warm presence. We pray for ourselves. We pray that we will, will feel God's love in our hearts every day and that we will look for ways in which we can serve God by helping others. Let us join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.